So, good afternoon, good afternoon. We are back again. This one is a transfer video. And this is about Alex Oxlade-Chamberlain, of all players. Jesus Christ, let's get the band back together. Uh, before we get into talking about Alex Oxlade-Chamberlain's proposed move to Arsenal in January, uh, make sure you are smacking a like up on this video. I would appreciate it. Thank you very much. Make sure you are subscribed as well. We're pushing up towards 65K, so thank you to everyone who has the More Lee Gunner channel, that link is in the description. Make sure you go and subscribe to that channel. That's on about nearly six and a half K as well. So thank you very much. And listen, thank you to everybody who has um, either shared or donated to the GoFundMe page for Chig's funeral. Um, I do appreciate each and every one of you that has done that. If you'd like to share it or like to donate to it, that link is in the description as well. Uh, so please go and do that as well. But um, also, I will be back again later on today, four o'clock, with Rants and Bants. We'll be talking about the um, the Euro Nations Cup, whatever it's called. We're going to be talking about that anyway. And uh, Pogba, uh, Martial, Genduzi won a medal. <laughs> he didn't play a single game. Not got a single cap for France, um, first national team. Uh, but he has got a trophy in his in his closet now. So big up, Genduzi. Uh, but Alex Oxley chamberlain is linked with a shock move. Is it a shock? Is it a shock, first and foremost? They love a headline. Um, Arsenal win for a shock move for Alex Oxley. Is it a shock? Is it really a shock? Um, I suppose when you see it, you just have to laugh when you see the headlines. But is it really a shock? I'm not so sure it is. Because Granit Xhaka is out for three months. Thomas Partey and El Nenny are going to be going to the, um, the AFCON. Albeit they will only miss a couple of games. And... Um, I think there is an international um, calendar that particular week or two as well. So, you know, we're going to be without them for a couple of games. Granite Jack is going to be back by then, but he is out for the next three months. Obviously, Martin Odegaard's um, not been ripping up trees since he came here. I know he scored a couple of goals since January, but it's not exactly been amazing from Odegaard. And uh, other than that, we're kind of struggling for midfielders, aren't we? T Thomas Partey in and out the team with injuries since he's been here. Is it, it, it doesn't seem a shock to me that we're linked to Oxlade-Chamberlain. Like, maybe it's just me. Leave it in the comments. Are you shocked? Uh, Project Youth has gone to Project uh, Let's Get All the Old Band Back Together. Jack Wilshere's back in training with Arsenal, albeit that that is not going to be on a, um, on a playing basis, apparently. Uh, we shall see. I'm not quite convinced about that yet. I do think that we're going to see some level of story come out in the next couple of weeks saying that, oh my God, he's been training, his training's immense and he's actually a lot, lot um, fitter than we thought he was going to be. So we're going to offer him a pay-as-you-play deal. I can see it coming. But in terms of Alex Oxlade-Chamberlain, um, he's, he's 28 years old now, which is mad. Um, I didn't realise he was that old, but 28. Um, I was at his last game for Arsenal. We got absolutely spanked by Liverpool at Anfield. A couple of days later... He signs for Liverpool for 35 million quid. He's been ravaged with injuries. He's, uh, he's not played that many games in the years that he's been there. I think he's been there, what, four seasons now? And they are open to letting him go. We're apparently, and it is only apparently, all, all these stories you have to take with a pinch of salt, but apparently it is only going to be a loan deal until the end of the season with perhaps an option to buy him at the end of the season. Now, I really know how I feel about this. Like, listen... Is um is an all right player. Is he what's required for us right now? No way, Jose. I don't want him. Um, I don't want him at the club. I feel like we should have done better planning in the summer. And this just smacks of Arsenal um panicking again. You know, you know, you, you've gone out there and you've not planned for the worst case scenario. You know the party's gonna go AFCON, you know El Nini's going AFCON. We've got Sambi Lukonga as well, who I forgot to mention. He's in his first season in a new league and uh, and Granit Jack is injured. So they haven't really planned for worst case scenario for me. That's providing this story is true, which, again, I'm not, I wouldn't be surprised if it was. But I just feel like if we had actually gone out there this summer and spent our money a little bit better than we have. And listen, don't get it wrong. Um, the players that have come in. Uh, defensively, in terms of Tommy Asu and the goalkeeper, have been superb so far. Ben White, not convinced on him one piece, uh, one little bit. Don't rate him. I don't think he's any good, and I don't think he's covered himself in glory so far. But in the midfield area, we went down the route of 
Martin Odegaard and Sambi Lukonga. Was that going to be enough to elevate us up to top four, which is apparently um, where we want to be? So I just feel like this smacks of piss poor planning. Um, you always have to, for me anyway, you always have to plan for the worst case scenario. The worst case scenario is you lose a couple of players in midfield through injury, then what? Yes, we could maybe throw Maitland Niles in there. We could potentially throw Callum Chambers in there. But again, he don't particularly rate either of them, hence why they've barely played any games. So I don't really know, if I'm honest. And I just feel like if we do sign the Ox, we'll probably get a couple of good games out of him and then he'll get injured. Um, Project Youth would be in tatters because he's 28 years old. Um, injury ravaged career and that would be going away from what they're trying to peddle as a youth project so I'm not sure that it's true it, me personally I wouldn't be surprised but if I was a betting man I'd say it's not going to happen but I'd love to get your thoughts on it would you take the Ox back at Arsenal um, I feel like we should have gone out there this summer and the midfield options should have been should have been the, the priority we didn't necessarily need um a centre back at 50 million quid we could have gone out there and got a cheaper centre back we could have spent more money on midfielders we could have got an extra one or two in because i felt and i have felt for a long time that midfield is our biggest issue you know and it's no coincidence that the midfield just gets torn apart every single season which then makes the defense look more of a liability this season we've seen in the first three games the midfield get absolutely torn apart again and the defense look a liability so next three games, obviously we won all three. Manager of the month awards, everyone getting their knickers in a twist. Oh, we've turned the corner. Well, have we? I expected to beat Norwich. I expected to beat Burnley. You know, I've seen people sitting there saying, Burnley's a tough game. It's a tough away game. Yeah, hello. They haven't won a game at home since January. Like literally they've been beaten or drawn every single game since January. It's about 13, home, 13 14 home games. So how's Burnley a hard game? Yeah, Burnley away is not a hard game because most teams beat them there. So I expect to beat Burnley. I expect to beat Tottenham. I expect it to beat Norwich. You know, so have we turned the corner? We've got a game up against um, Crystal Palace this weekend. No, we haven't. It's next Monday, in fact. So that's going to be a bit more of a test. Eze's back in training. I just look at it and I just think, like, hopefully the story ain't true because... Although I do like the Ox, I thought he was a decent player for us. He's not really done it, has he? He's not really had the career that he probably should have had. Yes, trophy-wise, he's won a few trophies at Liverpool, big ones as well. But his actual output, his input to the team, it's not been amazing. And that's down to injuries. So I don't want him anywhere near Arsenal, if I'm honest. Listen, good luck to him, whatever he's doing. I don't dislike the Ox. I just feel that this is more down to the football club, not prepping and not planning properly for scenarios like the one we have with Xhaka, who is a mainstay in the team, um, being out injured for three weeks, uh, sorry, three months, and then players going to the AFCON. The players that are potentially coming in um, to replace them players are Maitland Niles, who we don't rate, and maybe even Callum Chambers. Sambi Lukonga is a young player. We've kind of got a big problem here, haven't we? And um, that's down to piss poor planning from the football club. It always comes back to the football club and their lack of prep and uh, they're piss poor prep. So listen, let me know what you guys think. Leave it all in the comment section down below. I'd love to know what you lot think. Make sure you are smashing the likes up. Uh, would you take the Ox? Do you feel like we need another midfielder? I've just listed five, six, seven midfielders. Do you feel we need one? Do you think we could cope through that um, three-month period without Granite Xhaka uh, and without um, the two players going to the AFCON? You let me know. I'd love to know your thoughts on all of that. Don't forget, I will be back later with rants. That would be at four o'clock UK time. And uh, I may potentially be back later on tonight as well, about 10 o'clock as well. So keep your eyes peeled for that. All have a wonderful afternoon, whatever it is you're doing. And uh, make sure 